Well, hello everyone. I hope that this message finds you well and I just want to do a bit of a check-in with my audience before the new moon in Capricorn. I've got to let y'all know, yeah, I've been doing these lives for, I've lost track of the time. It's been going on for a while. I will go live with tarot every full and new moon, but this new moon is an exception. Um, so I'm just going to chat more here and, you know, if you want to leave your comments down below, that'll be great. Um, but I'm going to speak briefly, just very, very briefly about the astrology and uh, tell you a little bit about what's going on with me and, you know, why I'm not going to be going live, which is going to be the first time in a <laughs> long, long time. Um, where to begin? The new moon in Capricorn is this Friday, the December the 23rd. So ordinarily I would be gung-ho about this personally, um, but you know, as we say ad nauseum on YouTube, it's general, right? You gotta look at your chart as a whole. Um, and if I had not looked at my chart as a whole, I would be super duper gung-ho about this. And you know, that might apply to you. You might actually have something to be gung-ho about, but. <laughs> Um, cause that's right. New moons are new beginnings. Um, and I think that in a way this is great timing to end the new year by taking a look at what goals you want to set. It's a great moon for that. You know, looking at materially, what type of success do you want to achieve in the new year? Really after reassessing 2022, what do you want to produce next year? Um, some of you may be looking at launching new products projects. I don't know why I said products, because I don't know, maybe that was a Freudian slip. I'm thinking about putting out some new products next year, but I don't know how far I'm personally going to get with it, given my personal astrology. Just saying, for you, you know, you might want to do that. Um, but because we're talking about Capricorn, yes, there's going to have to be some caution exercised here, some moderation. And for some people, it that might involve really taking a good analysis or a better better word inventory of, of what responsibilities you have and, and need to take on and not take on um, in order to achieve whatever it is that you want to manifest in the new year. Some pain points, some challenges with this moon and I, I'm, I'm not going to go super deep into it. Um, but I'll just say very simply that with Capricorn, right, there's sometimes this issue with perception management, keeping up appearances, hidden agendas, hidden motives. So that might be something that you have to reassess the sober reality checks. And there could be a coldness to this. There could be an un un unveiling or unmasking of some type of calculating behavior within yourself or others, which may bring about themes of insensitivity, harshness on yourself or others. So do be careful about this. It is going to be a good moon for addressing insecurity issues. Yes, maybe having to do with work, money, status, maybe more in a practical respect on your day to day um, with getting organized. Some of you maybe this is a great time to do like a cleanse, you know, on your diet or a set a new workout routine. A lot of people are doing that regardless with the, you know, they do that every year, right? With their New Year's resolutions, which are usually abandoned by most people after, <laughs> I don't know, the first week or the first month. But anyway. It, the moon is good for that, you know, and, and particularly where it's falling in your chart. And in this video, I'm not going to go too deep into that because I'm sure there are other readers or astrologers out there that will get into it. But um, for those of you who want to go that deep, but just briefly saying, you know, depending on where this is hitting your chart, you may really feel a push to do stuff like that. And the moon is going to be good for those things. So also new moons, generally speaking, are good for setting intentions. But with this in Capricorn, you know, this is you, you, having to set intentions based on reality. And this reality could be quite a sober one where you have to get real about what you want, why you want it, and what you're willing to do to get it. Okay, so um, 
I'm going to wish you guys the best on that. And um, I'm going to share a little bit more with you guys on a bit of a, a personal level. Uh, for those of you who just want to hear about how this is affecting you, that's all I have for those of you who want to stick around and hear a little bit more about me and why I'm not going live for this new moon, um, then I'm going to continue on at this point. So thanks for those of you who are still watching. Um, and I'm going to tie it a little bit into, you know, this new moon. Uh, and those of you who are perhaps dealing with um, this hitting your eighth house, which it is for me, um, it's... This is Rob. This is about shared resources, and I'm dealing with a lot of energies right now that uh, are triggering my Mars placement in the eighth house, um, having to do with how I assert myself, you know, and that could be out in public, out in the world, how I, I go after my game, um, and that could also be, you know, shared resources within a family, within a group dynamic, so... Um, this new moon for me is hitting on that eighth house placement, which is absolutely a pain point because my Mars and Capricorn in the eighth house of my natal chart is opposing my Saturn in my uh, second house in Cancer. So um, triggered city is really an understatement. Let me just say that. <laughs> And, you know, I'm dealing with a lot of other challenging uh, Saturn placements right now, as many of you know. Um, I am coming back into a conjunction uh, with my natal Sun and Saturn. And that started on December 8th, I believe was like, yeah, the day of the, or the day after, yeah, the day after the um, full moon in Gemini, which by the way, my God, that was an ass kicker. That was a swift kick in the ass. I'm like, number one, I felt that, you know, empathically. I know many of you did. Um, but because I'm aware of the energies and because I have learned how to control my emotions, not let them control me, I felt like I was going to be okay. But um, I was dealing with people around me who were not. I'm not going to go into too many details about that uh, because I'm having trouble talking about it right now and probably when I get out of you know what I'm in right now energetically I'll talk more about it I'll talk um, probably once Saturn gets out of Aquarius in March I'm going to talk to you about what that was like as an Aquarian uh, but for me it also won't get out of my 10th house until like another year from now and based on my cards I'm not getting good messages about my online work at all at all and um, so I may not talk about, like I might not actually do a video on that until a year from now when Saturn gets out of my 10th house where I can actually speak to people going through that transit and reflect on it, you know, but I don't, I don't really wanna, I don't know how much I wanna talk about it while I'm in the midst of it. Cause it's like, you know, you're lost in a forest. And I think once you get out of these transits, you have more perspective. Like I know when I was going through Saturn through my eighth house, I was just like, oh my God, I was, listening to dark wave and I still do sometimes but <laughs> I got back into that at that time and it was just like I just really oh my gosh was not about this world at all um but after I got out of that cycle I was able to look back and realize holy crap you know there was definitely I felt the death of that cycle but when I came out of it I was able to acknowledge the rebirth and the rebirth in hindsight was as real as the death of Saturn through the eighth house. So yeah, I hesitate at this moment to speak on Saturn and Aquarius. Um, I, let's just say that I absolutely feel like, particularly at this time with me coming back into the conjunction on December 8th and it not coming out until December, I'm sorry, January 29th, it's gonna be exact on January 11th. So um, I am absolutely feeling it to my core. And um, if I were to give it an analogy, I would say it's kind of like, um, you know, you're, you're trying to get in on the game and you're there and you're watching all the players, but you've been benched. And every time you try to get in the game, the coach tells you to sit your ass down. And what are you going to do? 
the coach is Saturn. And, you know, so I'm watching a lot of other people that are in the game and playing, but um, I'm having to sit my ass down right now. And that's really hard, really hard, particularly in the 10th house. Um, when we're talking about status and Saturn coming in and saying, you know, um, less of you, how far can we reduce you down? Because I think I've said before, this has been a feeling of being reduced. Absolutely. And a side note, some of you have come to me for private readings. Oh my God, you do not know what a lifeline you have been to me. I actually told um, the last person um, that I read for, thank you, you've been a lifeline. And I don't know if she knew, like, I'm not exaggerating, I'm not putting you on, I'm not trying to fluff you, like, oh, holy crap, you do not know what a lifeline you have been to me, uh, for those of you who have come for private readings. Um, because I am lucky on this channel that has over 24,000 subscribers, I'm lucky if I get over 100 views. And for those of you who don't know, I just launched about a month ago um, a Team Aquarius, Aquarius only channel. Um, and I do have to say as a side note, I, I, don't, I, I don't feel like I'm getting a green light to continue with it. I, I'm sorry to say this, but listen, I've been doing this full time, you know, doing a, a YouTube channel full time for the last five years. I know what the algorithm is, okay? I know how to get the views. I'm actually a better reader now than I ever was when I launched my channel in 2017. So why my channel is not getting the views after I've done everything algorithmically correct, is that even a word? Yeah, algorithmically correct, and I've given my best why, you know, I think the top views I've gotten on any of those videos was like 65 views. So I'm sorry, a month of putting out five videos a week. No, no, <laughs> there's something wrong. I am being blacklisted. Absolutely. Uh, and I do think that my fatal flaw is that that new account was tied to this channel's email address and so you know if I were to run an experiment I would probably uh, at some point not now I don't have a green light to do it but at some point I may try to launch another Aquarius only channel but I will do it with a totally clean absolutely sparkling clean brand new email address with no ties to this channel um, or really anything for that matter connected to me. Um, but I'm just not getting the green light right now and, and my card readings for myself with this work that I've been doing online are just telling me that YouTube is going to continue to be jacked up for probably another year. And so I have to figure out how to earn a living apart from YouTube, something that I have poured myself into. I mean, my kids saw me working 60 hours a week um, for like two years straight. And now what? It's all for naught. Um, and I've, you know, I've launched different things and different platforms and products and whatnot. But if YouTube is not giving you the views, then you have no traffic coming to, the, to buy those products or services. So basically shot. And um, as many of you know, I try to do offline work with um, my pop-up events, my markets and all of that. And that's been a mixed bag. As of right now, I mean, it's off season, so I can't even do any markets right now because of the weather. Hopefully that'll ease up in spring, but basically, um, yeah, it's rough. 10th house, Saturn in the 10th house is really everything I'm telling you right now. Blockage, blockage, blockage. Bl oh, y'all need to know. 
<laughs> yeah, I don't even want to know. And by the way, I'm going to say, um, yes, I am still running the promotion on my year ahead reading, 20% off. For those of y'all that don't know about it, it's over on Etsy. There's even a payment plan over there, okay? Um, darn, where is it? There it is, okay? $120 reading you can get for $96. And for those of you who are like feeling it as well, feeling the crunch for whatever reason, uh, just a reminder, Etsy offers payment plans, okay? Four installments of $24 on Klarna. So just trying to help you, and that helps me, all right? But I will say that right now, because of all my limitations that I've been dealing with, I'm only doing audio files similar to what you're seeing right now. And as soon as I get, uh, right, because I've had technical problems, and as soon as I get my technical problems resolved, um, you know, I'll be back to uploading my videos of your readings. Um, but anyway, that's just a side note. I want to tell you, look, some of you, I try to tell y'all in 2019, uh, 2020 particularly, when all that convid BS was going on, the, the selections were going on, I uh, tried to talk and you know we got blacklisted, uh, those, those of us who were on there and telling the truth, we got blacklisted to this day, I'm paying for it heavily, heavily, okay, um, this is economic warfare that has occurred. And I don't really know, based on my astrology, based on the card readings, I really don't know if that's going to clear up until maybe another year from now when Saturn gets out of my 10th house. And also I want to say that I just feel like more of a, on an intuitive level that there's a lot of stuff coming out. Um, if you go on to YouTube, I, I'm sorry, if you go on to Twitter, I've been telling y'all to go on to Twitter, okay? You know I'm over there. Um, that's my alter ego warrior woman 212 <laughs> okay they've been releasing these twitter files right and they've been talking about how the um fraudulent bureau of investigations has been basically using twitter as their little subsidiary running surveillance on the citizenry right um silencing people who are truth tellers and whatnot um oh they've been spilling it over there i'm loving what um elon musk is doing but you have to understand this is just the tip of the iceberg what this is all we know as far as what's been going on with twitter we don't know about youtube files right we don't know about the other platforms. We don't know the level of suppression and blacklisting and demonetization, the silencing of people so that they can lie and do, you know, fear mongering and get people to engage in experimental medication, if you know what I'm talking about. Right, I still have to like <laughs> censor myself, okay? The mind effery that has been going on without consequence since. I'd say late 2019, at least, at bare minimum. All right, I know it's been going on longer because I've been awake since the early 90s, but um, I'm definitely going to say um, we just don't even know. And I think it could be over the next year that you start seeing more investigations going on, uh, more of this type of stuff coming out, because what this, this stuff that you are not hearing about you got to go to Twitter. you got to read it direct from the horse's mouth and get all the information. But this stuff that is coming out right now is waking people up. And I guarantee you, right, we're leaving 2022 with these revelations. But we're coming into 2023 with Americans, with um people in politics that actually are the rare souls who are trying to do the right thing by the people, uh, they're being awake and consciousness is raising to the point that I do believe we will see more legislation, more investigation, more maybe, God willing, some defunding of these corrupt agencies. 
And I think that you're going to see more um, perhaps regulations on the social media agencies where, you know, they cannot be hijacked by people in the government who are misusing and abusing their power and people in big pharma and fill in the blank, okay? So this is just the beginning. These revelations that are coming out, and I do feel at some point in time, the climate is going to change on YouTube, and truth is going to come out about YouTube, and maybe at that point in time, there will be some kind of revival of my work and my channel on YouTube, but as of right now, um, YouTube is not really mm, helping me. Let me say just also, I didn't plan on mentioning this, but... I am considering possibly doing the blue check mark here on YouTube and I might set it up not under this profile, but I might set up a profile on Twitter under um, the crowned life or something like that, okay? Um, we'll see. But basically Elon Musk has been saying that if you pay $8 a month to do the um, blue check mark, you would be able to do video streaming and you would be promoted on views and things like that and so i've thought to myself well whenever this new system is put in place perhaps i would have better reach on twitter with my tarot and my astrology because i'll be paying for the reach and i'm not going to have to deal with these algorithms and these bots on a platform that has not um had the corruption rooted out of it I'm sorry to say um, now they don't like me they don't like me because I'm gonna tell you prior to the 2020 selection I put out a whole reading a whole video on how to recognize gaslighting in politicians and the media I don't think hardly anybody saw it or listened to it it was probably blacklisted number one and number two people just I, it was a little bit, you know, an Aquarian thing, a little bit ahead of my time. I don't think people really connected the, the, the dots to how relevant that video was. But I was warning y'all before the selection to recognize for yourself the gaslighting. And, uh, you know, definitely say, um, you know, 2020 when the, um, the whole COVID thing was going up, I was putting up videos about how to protect your immunity naturally how to naturally immune, uh, protect your immune system. And they don't even want that stuff on there, you know? And so again, that video got hardly any views and I don't even think, you know, so then I started getting more direct and talking more directly about, you know, what was happening. And it, it just, it's just gotten worse and worse and worse. And um, so anyway, I'm not gonna r ramble on and on and on about this. I'm just gonna say that I, I am hopeful that at some point in time, things will get corrected or improved. But as of right now, I'm just going to tell you that looking at my personal astrology and, you know, my intuition and my card readings, it's like I'm really lost for words over the next year. This is not going to change quickly overnight. But I think over the next year, there could be some progress made, hopefully. Uh, but, you know, unfortunately, I have bills to pay between now and then. So, you know, we'll see what happens with that, right? And I want to say, you know, I talked to you all about this conjunction with Saturn and my natal sun. I'm also currently right now dealing with my north node squaring my natal midheaven. So that's blocking my professional goals as well. And it's putting me out of alignment with my ambitions. Um, it's really putting things off timing, right? And it's actually strongest today as we speak. And so, you know, given the conjunction and this square with my midheaven and involving the North Node, it's just like, uh, just sit your ass down, you know, just shut up, take a time out, right? Because my North Node, the North Node right now is transiting my 12th house, which is really putting me in the twilight zone. Let me tell you, I will say on the positive, great for, you know, working on solitude and doing spiritual work. So if you do want to come to me for a reading, it absolutely not only helps me, um, but it is, you know, it, uh, my sensitivities are very strong right now. Matter of fact, I have so much dream activity at night. Um, I've been told I'm talking in my sleep. Yes, <laughs> I am talking in my sleep at night. Okay. Um, and I'm, you know, in my quiet time, I'm trying to read and study how to more finely attune my psychic abilities, how to get more 
um, intuitive and empathic apart from tarot and apart from astrology just on my own accord how to tap into more that giftedness with the third eye so I'm using that again for all of you I know I've been relating some of my personal struggles with you because I know that you are going through things as well some of you have been messaging me by the way if you message me and I have not gotten back with you it's because I must conserve I have been reduced to such a level that I can at this point only give to that which is giving to me that which is sustaining me on a spiritual level um, not just spiritual but on a, on a on a material level very much a material level and I'm sorry blame it on the astrology okay um, I'm also dealing with right now you know Saturn Sesky quadrate my natal Pluto so it's making it really hard for me to make the changes in life that I need to make right now and it has left me with this feeling and as it could anybody going through that transit could feel like oh my god is everyone everything against me and there's absolutely a struggle for me uh, to make changes in my life and it, it again it just feels like a lot of restriction um, going on in my life and a lot of restructuring and, and unfortunately I'm not going to get out of that aspect until February 3rd of next year and it just started a couple few days ago uh, so you know I've got about three layers here that I've mentioned of, of astrological difficulty just telling me you know it, it ain't your time honey sit down um, and those of you who are um, prayer warriors thank you so much for praying for me um, particularly with this new moon as I said before for many of you um, you're not dealing with all of this thank God be grateful okay um, you know you're dealing maybe with other stuff granted right I don't know I'd have to look at your chart to know exactly what you're but generally speaking the new moon is a time to um, embark upon setting new intentions launching new projects okay um, but you know if you if you look at your chart as a whole like this is mine you know <laughs> unfortunately this this moon is gonna be like right on top do you see this drama here oh my god look at that and you know even black moon Lilith is is almost right on top of my natal Saturn it's just you know put a fork in it really uh, look at look at this this is shared shared resources personal resources um not a happy camper i'm um, definitely thinking a lot about it it's it's messing with my emotions and you know personally i'm gonna just tell y'all i've been dealing with a lot of these feelings of what's the use right that's capricorn what is the use because i've been um with my thinking about it <laughs> um looking at a lot of relationships looking at the state of humanity looking at lovers who don't want to love friends who don't want to get involved family who does not want to support and protect I've been going through this my whole damn life and yeah it pissed me off and I'm definitely sizing it up okay so um that's where i'm at and if y'all have any divine downloads for me if you have any um, positive intentions to send out to me um prayers you know i am absolutely open to it um but yeah i'm gonna set this one out for now and i hope y'all understand why and I'm going to wait on spirit before I put anything out there again. So I really appreciate you listening to the end. Those of you who made it this far, you are rare. You are special. And I do appreciate you. Any of you who want to contact me personally right now, the best way to do it is through email at crownedwithgloryreborn at gmail.com. Wishing you the best. Be blessed. <laughs>